I'm Barry Laminak, and this isn't what happened in sports this week. Ex-NBA star Lamar Odom, who was married to Khloe Kardashian for a while, recently revealed he had a sex addiction and spent a lot of time around whores. And that's not a very nice thing to say about the Kardashians. <laughs> in other news, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft was busted recently in a prostitution sting at a Jupiter, Florida massage parlor, where prices start at $59. When asked why he didn't pay for higher priced talent, Kraft responded, that's not the Patriot way. <laughs> so let me get this straight. An NFL owner won't pay a player to kneel, but he will pay a pro- hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. That, That's my bad. <laughs> In other news, uh, Venus Williams was eliminated from the first round at Wimbledon by 15 year old Coco Goff. Not only is this a huge victory for Goff, but it's also a PE credit. <laughs> MLS Player Association Director Bob Fu said that players are prepared to go on strike if their demands are not met. Fu said that they hope to find common ground and that a strike is never their goal. So, I'm sorry, <clears throat> that a strike is never their goal. <clears throat> In other sports news, the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Wisconsin Badgers football teams have announced a home and home series starting in 2024 at, well, actually it's Alabama and Wisconsin, so it's a mobile home and home series. <laughs> LSU QB Joe Burrow won the Heisman Trophy Saturday with the most first place votes ever. When asked to comment, Coach Edge Ogeron said, hey, Joe Burrow. <laughs> <clears throat> Go Tigers. That dude, no one knows what you're saying, Ed. He needs his own Rosetta Stone. <laughs> Cajun edition. <laughs> the Houston Texans are bringing back fan favorite former wide receiver Andre Johnson. Johnson will serve as special advisor to head coach Bill O'Brien. When asked how he thinks he can help the team, Johnson told the media, <laughs> And from the world of the NFL, it was draft week this week, and as expected, the Arizona Cardinals drafted Oklahoma quarterback Kyler Murray with the first overall pick. Word is Murray was so excited, he almost fell out of his booster seat. <laughs> Sources are saying the Cardinals have already prepared for Murray's arrival by baby-proofing the locker room, so. Here's a clip from head coach Bill O'Brien's press conference on the matter of letting Brian Gang go. Relative to the organization, relative, 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 and relative, and relative, relative to that decision and other decisions. Dang, O'Brien used more relatives than a Wayans movie. I was expecting Samuel L. Jackson to pop up and be like, Say relative to again. Say relative to again. I dare you. I double dare you. And finally, Joey Chestnut won the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest for the 12th time by eating 71 hot dogs. Only the SPCA has put down more dogs. Oh, that's not a good way to end. I'm Barry Laminak. That's not what happened <laughs> in sports this week. <laughs>